Those who know me know that often in my life, when things are about to go wrong or should be going badly, somehow things just work out. My kids call it Hirsch dumb luck. Well, my Hirsch dumb luck was certainly in turbo mode when you reached out to me in January 2016 and messaged, hey, 39 years, no talk, how you doing? I actually knew at that moment, standing in my bedroom, reading your Facebook message, that my life was about to change for the better. And I was right. When great philosophers discuss life, there are many similes and metaphors that each of us have heard. Today, we look at treacherous slopes, or wherever skiing happens, as our metaphorical map of life. We start with Jonathan Adam Fingerhut, who was born on a cold day. In this sense, he has begun the bunny hill sliding up the magic carpet. They originally met each other in kindergarten. In ninth grade, John went to a public school and they did not talk for 39 years. At the bar mitzvah, there was only one person who could stand beside him as he came of age. The only woman Jewish enough for that responsibility was none other than Kim. Every day she's positive. Kim, we have known each other since Sandmeyer School and the corner store on Evergreen. In the past seven years, we have had our joy in our adventuring. As your husband, I promise to be there. As a partner, a confidant, together we seem to have been together our whole lives. The blues are the next progression for a skier. The hills are steeper. There's a natural familiarity that guides your body on the hill. On Johnny's Blue, he has three girls, and he has the ability to start anew. So what does he do? He goes on Facebook, and bam, he doesn't get a patch of ice. He sees Kim, and just so everyone is aware, his memory is trash. But he remembers Kim. Think you could look any more beautiful. You look like a teenager. Love you. Wow. <laughs> Being together with a friend you met in childhood is fun and especially feels so cheerful. Mom and John love spending time with friends and family. They've built relationships that span decades. All of you here are a testament to this. And of course, they love an adventure. Bike ride. <laughs> Major bike yeah. Kim and John certainly enjoyed connecting to each other and found that they respected each other's work and also how they raised their children. They always put their kids first. They are incredible parents to all of us kids and deeply value family time. They are always there when we need them to listen to or give us advice. They're so kind and welcoming of us. Oh, they're lying, they're lying. My life went from shades of black and white and gray to full color almost overnight. Johnny, I love you in so many ways. When you said on our first date, any relationship we have, my kids have got to come first, I thought, wow, what an amazing dad. I could fall in love with this guy. It has brought me so much happiness to my life to see what an awesome dad you are. This is the posse. To mom and John, cheers to your beautiful, crazy life together and to this exciting chapter. May you continue to make every day a party and celebrate all of life's milestones to the fullest. On this day of great celebration and joy, Jonathan Fingerhut, son of Jerome and Betty, and Kim Hirsch, daughter of Charles and Norma, yeah. spoke the words and performed the rites which united their lives in the presence of God's blessings. With my beloved by my side, every day is good to awaken to and every moment is a gift. Amen. 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 We only have one request for you as newlyweds, and just one. Please stick to dogs. A new baby would be simply too crazy. Mazel tov, and we love you. I just want to say how amazing it is to be surrounded by this incredible crowd. You're some of my dearest friends and loved ones. We love you all. It's such a special crowd here, and let's party. They started to date in the end of January of 2016, realized that they loved each other and wanted to be together as much as possible. We have made it through past pitfalls of major crashes, bruised egos, and fear. Fear is the ultimate gatekeeper that causes a lack of progression. I can say without hesitation that my father and stepmother have moved without fear onto the final slope together. Your connection is beyond friendship and beyond just having love. 
I respect you, I will lift you up. I support your passions, whether it's skiing, working, planning vacations. I will continue to admire and respect and support you. With you two getting married, I am so happy for both of you to be with such fantastic person as your wife and husband. I bless both of you for your marriage. Amen. It has brought me so much joy to welcome your amazing children and now their significant others into my heart and now officially into this crazy, wonderful, extended family. I feel like the luckiest middle-aged woman alive. It has taken me 61 years to get here, but you, Johnny, make me the best version of myself. You are the ultimate Hirsch Dumb Luck. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>